Hello my fellow Americans, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as, well, those great United States. So right now, we have a little bit of a rebellion problem, but nothing that a few thousand soldiers can't fix, so, really not worried about it too much, the Canadians are here to help us, we're making more soldiers, let's address a few comments as we put down a few other, uh, Americans, without souls, I guess we'll say. Oh, what's this? Civilization? Oh, that's supplies, that's supply. Influence, culture. Actually, that's really cool for the culture map. And I guess we got a couple more rebels, but eh. Panamanian rebels, you know. What else is new? Uh, someone said that, really, Hawaii seems to be pretty peaceful. Yeah, they seem pretty peaceful down here. Um, they look like they're having a good time, you know. They have their own little guards. Oh, literally their own communist guards, but you know, whatever. Uh, so what was eating up my budget last time? It's probably the national stockpile purchases for my navy, apparently. The navy is expensive. Holy cow, it's quite, quite expensive. Uh, so, I guess that's what was eating up a lot of, uh, our goods. And also, I've been, I've been opening up, force opening up factories, trying to make as many as, get as many subsidized as possible, just so that people could get more, you know, people working. Get more factories to have people working, which seems to be working for now. And of course, we will host the 10th Olympic Games. And it is 1931, 1930s. A great time in American history, or just history in general. Great time in history. And I'm trying to make more soldiers, but they die as soon as they pop up, so it really sucks. Eh, whatever. Let's see, you guys. Let's... Yeah, you guys want to come here. I still want to go to war with Mexico, but we... that might not happen. Because it's going to take so long. Okay, 900 days, we should still be able to go to war with them. Maybe, maybe not. But I did say. I would finish this campaign by going all the way up until this end date, so. Uh, let's see how many guys are actually making four more divisions. Huh. That's an okay army. You're looking. Eh. You're looking. Eh. As well. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, we could definitely use you. Four, three. Get. That. There you go. And we have Expressionism. And now that made us number one in the world in terms of culture. Oh yeah, let's get some jazz. Surreal design. Very cool. And then we'll literally have all of our text done. Very good. Actually, we want to make sure that, okay, that they're put down. We have an army down, army down here too. Go ahead and get that. Get some more recon for you guys. That'd be good. You guys looking okay. So Columbia last time broke free of ourselves. Because they became a great power, which is not good. To say the least, but you know it is what it is. And this last war against the UK might, yeah, we'll probably be in a world war with them or something. So, oh yeah, we also own this stuff too. Intervene, intervene eventually. Uh, I really need to take out Algeria, but I can't do that until I go to war with Mexico, which really, really sucks. So you guys are looking pretty god darn injured here. Holy cow. Oof. So we need four infantry. Just start grabbing... I know guards cost a little bit more than infantry, but they won't probably rebel as much. Probably... Oh, colonial education policy. That's good. And, oh, that sucks. And grab two more artillery. Really? Colombia, you're taking Brazil from me? It's really disappointing that I could not get, like, all of the Americas under me, because, well... I made a mistake of having territory in areas that I cannot reach, which gave me a ton of war exhaustion. So that really, really sucked. That's my fault. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Anyone? Uh, zero crafts? Open everything up on the list. Good. Well, it looks like we have definitely recovered. And someone said yesterday this was kind of a slight depression, but, eh, you, know, you know, whatever. This is a slight depression. Ah, oh, no, Dust Bowl. So, after fairly favorable climactic conditions in the 1920s with good rainfall and relatively moderate winters, which permitted increased settlement and cultivation of the Great Plains, the Prairies region of the U.S. entered an unusually dry era in the summer of 1931. During the drought of the 1930s, the unanchored soil turned to dust, which the prevailing winds blew away in huge clouds, so sometimes black in the sky. These choking bills of dust, named black blizzards or black rollers, traveled cross country, reaching as far as the East Coast and striking in such cities as New York City and D.C. On the plains, they often reduce visibility to a meter or less. Already, hundreds of people are packing up to move, and may, many wait, their gazes directed to DC to see what will be the government's response. They're on their own. 
Hmm. Oh, that does not look good. And we're gonna push. We found a new agency, the Soil Conservation Service, to fight this calamity. Um. Oh, I guess why not? That's just taxpayer money. Who cares? All right. Who cares? Nice. Well, hey, we're open for business now. Rebellions have stopped because we put them all. Well, they haven't stopped yet because these guys are still being pissed off. But whatever. All right, looking not too bad. One more infantry. Savannah. Well, only one more infantry. Do that then. Good. We're making lots of money. <laughs> lots of money too, which just means we can lower tariffs. Maybe. Maybe lower tariffs. Yep, that'd be good. Well, I'm ready to go to war again. Kind of. Sort of. After that last little episode we had. Cameroon. Hello, Cameroon. You're uncivilized, so I'm probably not going to ally you. Well, increase relations regardless. Ah, the games of the 10th Olympiad. This will probably put us in a war with, uh... Oh, that's... There. Sweden Spear. Yeah, that will probably put us in a war with the British, but that's okay. How's our fleet? Well, it's gone. Uh, well, oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a sneeze there. Alright. I did not like money. Oh. Wait, what happened? Can I only make so many battleships? Oh boy. Ah, good. And our current population intervene eventually is rebelling in our ally. Liberia. We'll press our claim. It's fine. Add to sphere the Liberian nationalization program. We respect their sovereignty. Hey, they're communists. Hey, you know what we do to commies? We sometimes join them in join them in wars, but we're gonna send you guys down here. And do this. You know what? Race there, just back up a little bit. Wee. Wee. God, I was gonna kill my budget. Yeah, I was gonna kill my budget by quite a bit. Woo! Taxes the rich people just a little bit more. Actually, you know what? You guys stay off the boat. Get some experience first. Get some more training. Get, I mean, get that airplane too. That'd be nice. You guys. You're missing one artillery. Savannah. Mass culture and our ah, athletes are victorious. Great. Nice. Now we're done with our uh, technology. Awesome. I forget, does this game end in 33 or 36? I can't remember. And there's you, which we don't need you right now. We have two planes. We could really use that art. Shh. Nikes. Okay, so why are they upset? Because they're probably not getting their life needs or their needs. You know what? Go ahead and subsidize. That's probably going to kill my budget. And we have barely no, barely unemployment. Let's look over here. This is not in... This is Vietnam. Yankee, why? No. Just monthly war exhaustion. That's pretty much it. We're, we're screwed over by monthly war exhaustion for the most part. Everyday needs not fulfilled. I mean... Yeah, I'm taxing you guys a lot, but you guys wanted all that. You know, you wanted your benefits, so... Someone's gotta pay for it. <laughs> Let's get that plane for some go to war with Liberia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have a cup of American coffee here, though? Be pretty good. Wow, that's hot. That is some hot coffee. <clears throat> And they're good. Give me one month and then we'll send these guys to Liberia. Good. Uh, what a shame. What a shame. Mission to the Empire of Mexico, please. How much longer must we wait to go to war? Oh my god, it takes forever.
extensions in Costa Rica? Uh, of course not. And also, we want to keep an eye on... God dang it, we're killing so many of them. Nationalized factories, yeah, whatever. Uh, this one. This one expires next November. Plus 0.9 monthly war exhaustion. I'd say, you know, probably... It might be a little bit more balanced if it's like 0.5, maybe? I, I understand why they do it, you know. Why you need that in the game, so that people don't just go all willy-nilly and just kill you off, but, uh... Oh, cut down to size, add to sphere. You know what? I'm gonna come down to size, maybe? You know what? We need money, so we're gonna cut them down to size. Monrovia. Oh, look at that. Start a propaganda campaign. Uh, we could. Again. Sure, why not? Trump up support for the war effort. Plus monthly war exhaustion. Government propaganda. Some more socialism. Well, we already have enough socialists. Ah, uh, I love war propaganda. It feels weird not researching anything. Hey, we're still number one in prestige. Good. Uh, you know what? Come this way, actually, just so we can get rid of that enemy ship. Or the enemy being made. Ah, there you go. Very nice. Send you back to... Here. Oh, hold on. Don't leave yet. No. Oh, god dang it, you left already. God dang, those ships are fast. Nice. Very nice. We got the fleet down here, which I'm probably going to send over to, like, New York or something, just in case. Alright. So, we got this guy done. Wave of colonial arrest. The situation will pass, no worries. So, you guys are down here. We don't have enough armies down there. Are you guys moving somewhere else? No? You guys are okay over there. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, you're looking pretty injured. You guys come right there. I'm going to beat this army up. You are going to come down to Mexico so we can quickly take them out. So we already have one, well, one infantry, which means we need to build uh, one, two, three, four, one, two... Three, four, five. There you go. There you go. And we have elections. I'm going to assume the socialists are probably going to win again. Probably. Probably. And we can't change our party, which is... Yeah, which is okay. Start a propaganda campaign. Guantanamo Bay lease. Not much is going on. How's Vietnam looking? Good morning, Vietnam. Well, one of the armies I normally keep track of has disappeared. Uh, well, that's not good. You need an artillery piece. And by artillery, I mean Vietnamese armor. Aw, oh, yeah. Increase relations with the Japanese. You're looking very pink there. Wow, we're down to eight. We might not ever get there. Wow. Okay, maybe less than 200 days. Yeah, we like that. That's good. That's good. I've never heard of this country before. Buryatia. Huh. Okay. Europe has been pretty peaceful besides the Germans eating up Austria. Yeah, it looks pretty darn peaceful, honestly. You guys... You are... You're behind. Colombia as a great power. Wow. British Asia looking pretty bad. Uh, oh. Russia's at war. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Polish liberation of the Russian breast. Germany, you're trying to... Shadow of War? Aw, oh, yeah. Get in alliance with the Germans. That's what I like to see. We can use them against the... Uh, the British if we get a war justification fast enough. Are they dying to... Are this... Rebels? No, those are just Germans. Close. Basically the same thing. Losing some money. Um... I really don't want to join the war. Well, i got nothing else to do, so. That's okay with me. Yeah, we'll join the war. Ah, good. North Anian Patriots. Well, I'm sorry, but you want to die now. Ah, another ship fleet. Love the fleets. Love them. Now we've got an army down, down here, too. Good. Uh, where was... Go ahead and build that up. That'd be fine. 
That'd be fine. Is she gonna blow this up even more? That'd be nice. Anyways. You guys. Hope you're having a great day. I'm doing well myself. We need a couple pieces of, of planes here and then two artillery. We need a plane. Get an artillery piece. I don't always do armor or tanks just because it costs a lot. It does cost quite a bit for tanks. Even though then again battleships do as well. The war is upon us. Oh no, this is oh this is probably a bad idea for me to do this. I mean I won't be able to justify against ah, the Mexican. I should not have Every time I'm so happy to go to war. Happy 1933 though, my friends. We're fighting Romania, Norway, and Romania. I'm just gonna let Germany do it. They they pretty much got it under control, so yeah. I hope this war doesn't end before I can go to war with Mexico. Form an alliance. Oh, we're only 155 days, please. Tensions dissipate. That's good. If we can't go to war with Mexico, then so be it. God dang it. That's... <sighs> now it's eight. Oh, God dang it. Wow. But hey, maybe we'll get some territory from them. That's going to increase the war exhaustion, but you know, whatever. Uh, no. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat the snot out of them. And by we, I'm talking about Germany. We have a few unemployed people here. Oh, that's not good. No, no. Who, who's unemployed? An American Madras craftsman in American Madras. Wait, hold on. Let's go with my name. Uh. Oh, oh, that's where the Vietnamese army went. You know what, you can stay there, probably. Give me another... Probably infantry. That'll probably work out well enough. To mill infantry. Very cool. Come on down here. Oh, Indonesia's here! Oh, the Dutch really lost it, huh? I'm gonna. This is pissing off the Russians. Quite a bit. Oh, we're so close. Please hold for another like 80 days. That's all we want. Just 80 days. Please, 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 please. No. We're gonna go to war first. Call in Germany and then go to war with the UK. Right now, who's who's the higher power? Germany's a higher power. No. Okay, because they mobilized. Their military is looking really bad, but it's better than Russia. So, hold on. Sweet. Sweden's the fifth great power. Wow. Wowzers. Oh, come on, American commies. You're better than this. Well, I guess you're not. But whatever. Do that, and then do that. There you go. Uh, with Romania? That's fine. Yeah, cut Romania down to size. Come on, how much longer? 98. Oh, my goodness. Just in time to get rebels? Oh, God. No, no, no. Please tell me we got it. Please tell me we got it. Oh my god. Is it... Oh, we... There it is. There we go. We, we, let's get at least something first. Ah. Oh. No. One more time. One more time. I need these, amar these armies back. Let me grab you. You're the newest, the freshest, the hottest stack. If I can go to war, I'll go to war with Alg Algeria next. Alright, so, uh, we can go to war immediately. Actually, spending-wise, military is pretty high, so that's already pretty good. We're gonna go to war immediately. Acquire state of... Chiapas or Guerra? Guerra. Chiapas. I'm gonna do it Chiapas. Just to split Mexico. Let's see. Tunisia will not accept... Neither will the German Empire, huh? Well, that sucks. You make your decision, I make my own. Yes. Yep, Germany refused. You piece of garbage, Germany. Ugh. Being allied with you was a mistake. Now we're fighting Mexico and the UK. But we've got quite a few allies around here, so that should be okay. We'll succeed down Mexico first. We'll see what the... the uh, Brits can do against us. They'll probably... Yeah, they'll... Where are you going? Economics. 
No, we just got rid of economic sanctions. No, are you kidding me? Again? Look at that war exhaustion. Look how great that is. That is so great. Oh, we're in a total war. Fools. Wow. Go to hell, Britain and all you peoples. The demands of war? Total war will be removed. Am I? Who's it? I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna see you down, but I don't really care. I'm actually gonna take you back home then. We got allies to help us out, so. That'll be good. That'll be good. Roll the armor down. Take him out. Very good, very good. Nope, there goes the budget. Enemy, my enemy. We do need more allies. We do. Ah, the... Okay, the Qing Empire. The Balfour decision. What the heck? Uh, established in Palestine, a home for the Jewish people. Oh. That's right. We're going to free the Jews. Hmm, that's right. From British oppression, we shall. Very good, very good. You guys, uh... I don't need to be sieging anything down, I hope. Nice win the battle there. Very good. Oh, UK, you have chosen so poorly. Such a mistake you just made. You have to get up here so we can destroy that Navy. Ah, uh, I love it when the Canadians and Americans work together to beat up some Mexicans. <sighs> this feels right. This just feels right. Sorry if you're Mexican, though. Are they sieging any of my places here? No, they're not doing anything against me. Well, we're gonna have to beat up their navy, which is gonna suck, but I'm in Jamaica. Oh wow, we just shattered them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Better pay your debts, Mexico, especially when I'm going to war with you. I love Canada. Oh, we're fighting Ireland too. Cool. Hey, war goals. You can pay, repay your debts. Wait, rest, Italian restoration to the order of Corsican, Corsican provinces. Holy cow. Italy. Oh no, it's the UK. Oh, they're still Germany. Why did you? What the heck? You could have just joined our war and done okay. You're also fighting the French as well. Do we still get Russian territory? I hope we do. Wait, huh? Hold on. What's going on here? You're at war with... Whoa, look at that flag. Hey, fascist uh, Hungary. Already? It's already 1934. I guess... Yeah, well, do you do you. You do you then. Uh, yeah, you beat those people up. They don't deserve life. You're going to stay here in Oran and just hold out for as long as you possibly can? Um, if that's the case, you're going to get another infantry too. Actually, make sure we do that. There you go. Can we build any more? Yes, we can. Get another infantry. Get some French armor. Okay. Get some Maghreb artillery. And then get a plane. Because you're going to build up the biggest defense possible in Oran. So they try to kill us there. Well, they won't be able to. Good. You guys can come up here. You guys are going to begin planning an invasion of different areas. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. If that's the case, uh, we don't need to build up another army. What about another navy? We, we have we have the capabilities for it, even though it's costing us quite a bit. We're going to go with... Oh, we're, we can't build any more dreadnoughts. Oh, that sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll go with... Uh, where's the cruisers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, and just spam out troop ships. And there you go. 
We're going back to Ireland, probably. To be honest with you. Uh, I don't ever remember allying you, Ottoman Empire, so... No thanks. <laughs> Shout of war. Germany. Germany. <clears throat> We're buddies. Sure, why not? Sure. Give me just one moment. What the heck? My apologies about that, my friends. I had to go blow my nose. No one cares if they're taking over Africa. Africa's pretty worthless anyways. Oh yeah, you kids down there too. Alright, a few Mexican people are left. I'm going to keep you guys up around here just so that you can do some rebellious stuff. Put on some rebellions as well. You are not going to though. You are going to come over here to Wilmington. You are going to... Oh my goodness, come over here. And you need two armor pieces. Uh, sure, Guatemala. Sure, why not? Come up to Boston. And we international enemy. Ah, international sanctions will be removed from the United States. And now we get international isolation again. Because, frick me. Alright, so that's the case. We've been dealing with that for like the past ten years. I don't really even care at this point. Uh, that being said, you guys come over to Haiti, because they might rebel again. But, I'm going to make sure that we put all our ships together and have one of the most glorious naval battles ever to be achieved in the history of mankind. Colonial setback. Well, at least we can say we went to war thrice, or four times in this episode. Oh wait, we have to fight off the French too. But, not the French are, you know. The French are French. Yeah, I think they're going to lose most of the battles. Yeah. They probably will. Oh! Oh, I actually lost... Where was that? Um... Gafsa? Oh, it must have been this army over here. Or something. Oh, I'm fighting Morocco as well. Where is... Oh, it was over here. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. Like I said, no one cares about Africa. Oh! What are you doing here? Wow, you look really bad. I'm just going to delete you because that looks really bad. Oh, yeah, you guys keep doing that. That's good. Alright, you guys come to Charleston. We're going to get all of our ships together. And you're going to stay down here in that place so you can help put down any rebels. That's good. That's a little bit too much in one area for me. There we go. Uh, Wait, where is this? I wish that they would actually show you where these battles are taking place. Pondage. Oh, it's over there? Huh. Yeah, I hope they, I hope you lost a lot of men. That's all I can say. hope you lost a ton of guys. Alright, get the ships. Come back up north. New York. And now you guys can come up here too. Base in Savannah. Oh, I hope you're ready for this, UK. I hope your navies are... Your task forces are ready. Because we're coming over. Now, we're not going to bring any guys over because it's going to be one huge naval battle where I'm probably going to lose quite a few guys. Quite a few ships, so. Awesome. Head on over to the British Isles. Well, the French are winning in, against Spain, but, you know, whatever. Who cares? I really don't care about the Spanish. Hey, some enemy ships. How are you doing? Oh, benefits exploited. You can do that. Go ahead and kill them off. So, not bad. 95. Eh, we've got a better death roll, barely right now. We have a better admiral, leader attack, yeah. Oh, they just, oh yeah. Pound their little butts. Pound them. Actually, so right now, they have 22 cruisers and a three dreadnoughts and a battleship. <coughs> Excuse me. I had water, go, water, coffee, go down the wrong hole. Mm. Good pensions? Of course, we'll, of course we'll give you good pensions. Of course. Oh, shred that navy. Shred their little butts. This is beautiful. I love this. We just obliterated the entire fleet. The Battle of Biscay has been wowzers. Alright, maybe Germany won't be able to win this one. Would you like a white peace, France? I really don't care about this. 
Uh, let's see. The Eighth of the Mexican American War. <laughs> um, Ardennes. Oh, it looks like Germany's still winning, so we can probably not do that yet. Alright, so everyone's going to come home first. So everyone, you're all going to come to here, but not really. You're all coming to different little places. See, some of these ships actually got sunk pretty... were hurt pretty hard, which is okay. You know, I'll come to New York. So I'm going to shift a lot of these soldiers over to uh, that area of the world. And end to Algerian imperialism. Well, that's good. That's nice. So, what do we do about the Russian breakup states? Is Russia ever going to be broken up? Led by fascists, and they're still fighting Hungary. Oh, there goes Germany. They're beating them up. And Germany's also trying to fight Italy. Wow. Oh, they actually beat me here, too. How? how? Uh, yeah, I really don't understand that. Like, yeah, maybe the defense isn't great over there, but still. Well, they can siege on Vietnam, but... They're going to not like it when I siege down their, their uh, home islands, so... Oh, I'm going to leave you guys on the west coast here. I'm going to leave these guys here, too. That's good. Let's see. Do we still building stuff up? Oh, yep. And mobile. Awesome. You guys are looking good in Louisiana. All right, so you got the ships here. Give them just a little bit of time to repair. Start a propaganda campaign? Absolutely. Jump up support for the war? Yeah. That'd be good. Full welfare state. So be it. Wow, that looks really bad. Um, we could use another battleship, maybe. Maybe one more battleship. Oh, no. Oh, we're still trying to build stuff here. That's alright. Give them time. They need a lot of money for that. The Treaty of Moscow. Nice. You guys are looking a little better. The Dreadnought got just shredded. Mexican Patriots. Well, that's okay. We got enough. Hopefully, we have enough of an army down here. One. Uh, two. That should be good enough. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cool. Alright, you know what? We're gonna send whatever we can right now. Let's see, you guys. 30,000. We need at least... Hmm. This is probably a bad idea. This is probably a terrible idea. Combine these two fleets, maybe? Five transports. I need something with... It's 12, 13. I need at least 20. So, we're going to combine these two. This is probably way over the supply limit, but that's okay, because I need you to come here, too. Thank you. Go ahead and hold, uh, because you're coming as well. Come to Ireland. Everyone's coming to St. George's Channel. Wait, why can't you move? Is it illegal for you to move? What the heck? Oh. What the heck? Get on the boat. Stop it. Stop it, you piece of the garbage. Get on the boat. You're going to Ireland whether you like it or not. There you go. Alright. Some of these ships are just too damaged to move. Yeah, you're too damaged, I think. I think you're too damaged. You guys looking good. You guys are good. You guys are good enough. Let's move you out. Pound them. Pound, pound, pound. So we're going to leave one task force over here, which is fine. Uh, we got armies all over the place. Which is great. So 1934. Being up, being up a couple of Mexican patriots here and there. That's, you know, just, just normal things. Uh, and we shall go to Waterford. Nice. Incident. Ca casually having a couple of terrorist cells. That's okay. Come to Cork. Intervene eventually. Put you up here so they cannot rescue Ireland. Oh, Ireland, you made a bad choice, son. Russian colonies. Um, this is going to give me more war exhaustion, but we're pretty much at the end of the game here. We'll take what we can. There we go. Nice. Oh, no. Whatever shall we do? And they immediately attack me. And they're dying by the thousands. Oh my goodness, minus two for no leader. They crossed a river, and we have one dig in, even though we, uh, our defense is not very good. Come on, get our soldiers in there. Get our soldiers. Oh, God, God, we're just going to murder these Irish people. I'm sorry if you're Irish, but it had to come. 61,000 just died. 
That's why you do not mess with the United States of America. At this point, we're going to smash that army. Siege. Fully siege down Ireland. Get rid of them. Do they have gas defense? They probably do. It's already by the 30, so... Intervene eventually. Good. Actually, I'm going to send you back home. So you can pick up another army somewhere. Let's go to Tampa. You guys... Oh, we're building up another fleet. That's great. You guys looking good. Coming to DC just in case. Nice. Actually, before we do that... Not bad. We need... Still one more armor... All right, make it, guys. Hey, look! Look at all the Brits around here. <laughs> Go for Dublin. France. Well, I think that you already were dismantled once, so let's do it again. Colonial setback. Who cares? Oh, we can. Oh, we can actually take out these guys finally. I'm a little busy. I can't quite do that yet. Oh wow. Can you get some shore bombardment to help you out, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. If we lose, whatever. Hey, look. Help him out. Oh, Britain. Oh, Britain. Now we're both losing? Who's going to win, then? The Treaty of Paris? Very good. Oh, they got, they, we got a lot of transports. They got six cruisers and 28 dreadnoughts. Sink the fleet. Come on, America. You can sink their garbage little fleet. It's only the British Navy. Oh, God, yes, yes. Oh, we lost that battle down in Clem, but I don't really care. Oh, this is a battle for the ages. The Russian colonies will take what we can. Of course we can. Happy 1935, my friends. Ooh, we lost something here. Oh, that's fine. We were trying to build up another... Oh, God, we're sinking all those dreadnoughts. Ah, oh, yeah. You can throw the Irish ships in there, too. There, there's nothing they can do. Ireland, would you like peace? We lost about a clam. I mean, no one cares, really, so... You know what? We got another fleet up here. We gonna need them. Reinforce with fresh ships. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like peace? Oh, you're not... Okay, I mean, if you don't want to accept that, I mean... So be it. So be it. Nice. This is the... Now, we've lost quite a few ships ourselves. But, uh... This is one of the worst defeats in the history of the British Empire. And I'm loving this. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, there we go. So we lost 22 ships. That's quite a bit. We lost four capital ships, six screens, 12 transports. They lost 27. Those were pretty much all dreadnoughts. Holy cow. And since we're here, you must come here. I gotta leave one little group here to stay. You're gonna stay here to blockade all these people. You're going to have to come to Cork to heal up. You should be able to heal up in port, so. Tensions dissipate, that's good. And I don't want to forget, we've got a little army down here waiting for us. Nice. Galway. There you go. Very good, very good, very good. So what my plan is, I think I've seen people do this before. Uh, we're just going to let them come in here. We're going to stop blockading it. So they'll come in, kill themselves on our line, and yeah, pretty much. See what happens. Okay. Get up there just in case, too. Uh, let's see. Hopefully you repair at least a little bit. 27% goes up to... Ah, there you go. Good. Ah, yes. We almost have these guys fully sieged down. Can you, do you just want peace now? No? Ah, I must negotiate with a wall leader. Well, Ireland, you, you made your choice, so... Hey, look. Enemy ships. There's the rest of the dreadnoughts. Just smash them to hell and back. Nice. 
Nice. There's nothing you can do. Sink your fleet. Sink your fleet. Keep you guys here. Is there anything else going on in the world that I should be paying attention to? Maybe. Maybe not. So what we need, like before, is it an incredibly decisive battle. Let's see you guys come down. Cork. Galway, probably. So we're going to let them in. Oh, see, now they're moving in. Oh, good God. Come in here. Come in here. And we're probably going to kill a bot at least. Oh, they're throwing in so many soldiers. Nope. They threw in over a thousand brigades. One thousand brigades. Can they come over here still? Belfast? Uh, I'd be very surprised if... No, they can't. So, we're... We're somewhat dug in. Not really. Uh, I hope we can hold the line. Because this is a lot of guys. This is an insane amount of guys. Go home. Pick up some more guys if we can. Get the guys from DC, baby. We gotta do that. Oh, God. This is the, this is the biggest battle I've probably, I've probably ever done. I probably have ever tried to do. Oh, man. We're, ooh, we're losing quite a few guys. That's not good. Oh, we're butchering them, though. Oh, river crossing. They only have a good, they have a good leader attack. And they had a really good dice roll. That's not fair. But they're losing literally thousands by the day. Well, we're losing hundreds, so. Get you guys on the boats. Um, is that really the fleet? Send. Just in case. We're going to reinforce our position with even more guys. Come to Belfast. The Americans need it. Split you guys in half. Uh, thank you. Ooh, do you guys... Ooh, you only have five transports. God dang, that sucks. How many more ships are we building? Not that many more. Just build a bunch. There we go. We'll have it done soon enough. No one really cares, guys, so. We have 92,000. Do we get any... I mean, they've lost a lot of guys so far. I mean, I've lost a few hundred. Uh, Germany. Oh, wait, I'm fighting Germany? Huh. Yeah, no, I, I want to see the result. Oh, we landed. We landed. Go back home. Maybe we can get another group here. You know what? You guys do that. That's fine. Go back to another group. Uh... And then we're going to grab. And then. Eight. That's good. That's good. That's good enough. You guys. It's not much, but you know, I'm still taking them. You guys looking pretty good. Go ahead and do that. You guys going home. 100. We'll take what we can. I want to see. Oh. They've lost a thousand stacks. They're losing thousands by the day. Yes, yes, yes. We're losing hundreds, but they're losing... Oh my god, this is insane. They're losing 5,000, 3,000... No, no, no. I'm adding more war goals. Oh, I'd love to see them. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is what I've been waiting for this entire game. Oh my god, they just lost another 100,000 from where we're looking at. Oh god, I hope the game doesn't end. If it does, I will try to figure out... Maybe to extend it just a little bit to see what happens. Send him in. Send him in. Oh my god, yes. That's gonna be a long video. We're sending even more guys in. Oh my god. Oh, we're slaughtering them. <laughs> oh, we just added more guys to the line. <laughs> 80,000 guys. Well, really, you know, 170,000. Holding out against over a million. I mean, oh, we have some commies, which isn't good right now, but, you know, our divisions at home should do okay. Hold on, I want to make sure I don't click on the wrong thing here. No? No? No, this is going to be the battle for the ages. 
How are you guys looking? Go ahead and siege parts of the UK down as well. Since you're here, you must come up here too. Alright, so it's 1936. I hope we can continue. Please let me continue. I think the war has to end first. No! I guess I'll see you in just a little bit. I'm going to see if I can extend the game just by a little bit. Alright, my friends, we are back. I extended the end date to 1980 because I want to see what this is going to turn out to be like. Oh, look. The little helmet guys. We got little helmets. Oh, we don't have a helmet. We got a hat. But. <clears throat> Oh, I can't wait to see what this is like. I know this video's gone for a long time, but... Oh, I can't wait to see what happens after this. Hey, Hawaii finally has some nationalists who are going to be put down very violently by my guard units. And we're still losing money, but I can't really be bothered to look at this right now too much. A little bit more taxes for now. Uh, soften the blow. Nope. Mm, we okay. We don't need that. Midway. Let time go on. I, I have a pretty good feeling we're probably going to win this battle. Pretty good feeling. Just in case. I throw more guys over there if you want. It's fine with me. We're gonna continue sieging down the UK. Blockading them. As we should. Uh, so they're losing a few less guys now, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. They're still losing, like, triple our casualties, and we just reinforced. Cool. You guys, head on down here. Oh, look at that. France now has Brittany back. War is a racket? Eh, yeah, whatever. No one cares. Mm, Swedish Congo, anything else happen? France lost a lot of stuff last time. Cambodia? Oh, there's Cambodia. Kaz oh, God. Look, Russia. Oh, God. They were, we were going to go against the Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan. Poland's thick. The Baltic states, Belarus, Russia. Yes, of course. Uh, Sonora, suppressed now. Ukraine, Moldova. The Ukraine is looking pretty nice. Cossack Hetman. That's really awesome. I hope to play as Ukraine someday. Ah, uh, come on. This battle is taking forever. It's literally been months since we started this. And that's okay with me. Nope. Oh, we're not done, Germany. We ain't done yet. All they have are infantry. That's so bad. These must be conscripted soldiers. Oh, we're the number one greatest power in the world now. That's right. America strong. America strong. We got horses, or is it planes as well? Ah, uh, we got two, 2,400 airplanes. Nice. Just let time go on. I know this video's gone on a while. Just let it go on, go on, go on. <sighs> this is beautiful. Uh, recognize Filipino independence? We don't own the Philippines. Um, I'm a great power. Sure. I recognize their independence. Sure, why not? Are we allied? No, we were. I thought we were for a while. Ah, uh, the Philippines. What a great place. They have no score of any kind. Wow. We shouldn't need any more soldiers. We're losing just like 200 a day. A little more 200. They're losing 700, which is pretty good. But, uh... How are they winning? They probably have a... No, we have a pretty good dice roll. If we need more soldiers, oh, we can throw some more guys in there if we need to. Let's see. So we're going to make some more. We'll do what we can. If we want to send some more guys, I mean, I'm, I'm open to it. Ooh, start a propaganda campaign, of course. Get some more war efforts. That'd be nice. Maybe get a couple more... Uh, troop trips, just in case. Shouldn't take too long to build. 35. Mexican Patriots. It is what it is, you know. Let them go. We'll restore order there, pretty much. Oh, wait. Did that? No, the battle's still going on. They're still a little bit more than double our size, but that's okay. Nice. The guys down here should be able to handle these guys, yeah. Should is a good word. That's good. Nice, there we go. Coming to Ireland. It's a great place to be. Nope, this war is not over yet until we kill off all these British guys. They invade my Ireland? No. Classics rediscovered? Great. A couple commies. That actually might be a problem for us. Um, especially in DC, but we should be okay. You guys, head on over here. Make sure DC isn't, like, 
dying. <laughs> Oh, now we have... They merely have double our uh, forces now. Merely double our forces. Come, I want to watch the battle stop. Tell me about the rebels. Oh, nice. Thank you, Canada. Are they losing thousands by the day? They have less than double now. Mmm. No one cares. Oh, yeah. This is the most important battle in the world right now. This will turn the fate of who will own the 20th century. And it's 1937. Happy 1937, my friends. Oh, my goodness. They lost over a million people right now. That's insane. That's just nuts. And we've lost quite a few guys, but... Oh, we have a bigger army than them now. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, I love it. Come on. This battle's been going on for at least one year. If not, longer than a year. Come on. Bash of soup kitchens? Sure, why not? That's why I don't ever like mobilizing, because mobilizing, it's okay, but it hurts your economy. I really don't want to hurt my economy that much. It's probably one of the longest videos I've ever made, but it's worth it. Nope. 50,000. Oh, they're just... Come on. Come on. you got to cut and run. But there's nowhere to run. <laughs> I blockaded them. <laughs> oh, yes. Come to the channel. Good. Nope. Oh, Germany. You, you chose really poorly for your allies. Oh, my gosh. They, they don't even have enough guys. Oh, they're shrinking. Oh, I can't wait to see the results of this. Oh. Corrientes. Oh. Nope. We're losing a lot of money, but that's fine with me. This is the last group. They have one, like, battalion. One battalion left. The third Holyhead Infantry. Whew. We won. Look at that war score. We just killed 1.3 million Brits. Now, we lost 125,000. 126,000. That's a lot. That war score, we just demolished. We massacred that entire army. Alright, it's time to peace out. They won't accept that. Maybe they'll accept it once once they give you another peace deal. Let's let our guys heal up first. Hang out. Get a little bit more strength going first. Uh... Germany, come on, offer me a peace deal. Offer me something that I can't refuse. Temperance League, sure, why not? American Communists. You guys are just kind of going a little crazy there. You know, there we go. What? No, 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 no. At the very least, I'm going to dismantle the UK. That's a thing that I want. I don't even care about Chiapas anymore. We pay debts. They would not... That's really bad. Come on, we need more than just 100. If you want to give me all this war exhaustion, I need more than this. Ireland becomes a puppet. Or Chiapas. Let's at least do the UK. Or... Yeah, UK is pretty bad. Create the Baltic states. Um. Okay, yeah, we'll create some Baltic states. Whatever, the Baltic states. Alright, well, whatever. Whoever can leave, go ahead and leave. Um, we're just going to let time go on for now. Oh, good to stay here. Cool. That's good. Wait, now we have, like, infinite war exhaustion now, but no one cares, right? Really? Uh, you guys only have seven weeks. Just go home. Let time go on, because I want to see the breakup of the UK. That's, like, what, the ultimate thing that I wanted to wait for this entire campaign. Oh, the treaty. Good. The war's over. Yeah, whatever. Burma. We're going to welcome Burma. Australia is no longer in our sphere of influence. Huh. Uh, you can let probably you come up here. That'll be fine. You guys come over there. If not possible. Okay, then. So I'll wait, and we'll go down to British colonies. We'll take what we can. 
There you go. Asian farms and mines? Sure. Reform local government? Sure. Oh, we'll take every colony. Niger. Claim Niger. Companies know what is best. And you thought that this wouldn't be very good. Oh, my goodness. We may have problems in America, but we won't have as big problems as the UK will. You know what? You, I don't want to really delete you. I really need bigger... We'll send you home, and then we'll send you back this way. Nice. Claim Tanganyika. Reform that. Companies know what is do, do is best. Integrate Lithuania and... What the heck? From Turkestan? Uh, African farms are nice. A little suppression never hurt anyone. Ah! India's free as well! Beautiful. And Recommends Party's been doing that stuff. Stock exchange, that's cool. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna send you guys over here. That should be good. Uh, can you guys get on this boat? Doesn't look like this can really transport anything, so we're just sending you home. Oh man, this is gonna be an hour long video. I don't ever make hour long videos. American Destiny, hard work and toil. Oh, you're still down here. I had another fleet down here too? Nice. Of course. Oh yeah. Well, we'll do all those decisions when we're done here. American some. Puts a smile on my face, man. Puts one big old smile on my face. San Jose, very nice, very nice. Come to Baltimore. Ah, American Chad. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and just click on a couple of these things. That's fine. Even when we're socialist. And we don't have, we can't even spend that much money on our guys. We still find a way to be best. Just, oh, I, I'm purposely not, I'm hiding like our results of the war for now just because I want to get all these guys home, but oh, buddy boy. Uh, come on down home, here. Oh, actually not there, uh, come there. And, oh, I can go straight to the UK, nice. I want to see the UK split up. I want to see Scotland. I want to see Wales and maybe even Cornwall or something. Sort of position. Good. And you guys come to Wilmington. Mm hmm. Yep, take it. The Brits don't need that for where we're going. I think we should have Burma as well. India's been released. I mean... What more could you want? Go. Companies know what to do is best. This is what happens when you put international sanctions on me. It's not going to work out well for you, Britain. <laughs> oh god, this was a fun campaign. Even though we struggled near the end here, this I think this is kind of a redeeming factor for us. Like everything that we've done, I think this is pretty much a redeeming factor. I'm going to send you guys to Mexico too. And on the boat. Ah, Mexico's on fire. We got a couple guys that we got to take care of down here. Mexico. Even though we didn't take out all of Mexico, I would say we still did pretty well. So let's take a look at this. Oh, Guiana owns all of that. American South America looks pretty good. Uh, what is going on here? German Namibia, of course. American Africa. Now that is just beautiful. How much war exhaustion do we have? Is it going up? 0.79? No, it's, it's going down. Even with... 36.65, that can't be right. We're making a lot of money now. We're the greatest military power in the world. We're the second industrially and second prestige is, wow. 36.65, let's see if it goes down. It's, okay, it went back up, okay, okay. That's okay, we have Dutch Africa, we have American Somalia, American Tanganyika, Southern Rhodesia is a free country. I helped the Rhodesians and liberated them from the Brits. You're welcome. South Africa, cool. Spanish Nigeria, huh. Let's see, the Dutch got a little bit, that's fine with me. Got a couple rebels down here, I don't really care though. Tunisia, oh, I wanna see, I wanna see these guys better. Oh, who's this? Iceland, you, feed yourself. Red winds, 
it's fine. Stick them out. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. So. An international example. Uh, is, is that it? I really want to see the UK split up. Look at that India. Oh my god. Are they fighting somebody? Are they... Where are they fighting? They're fighting Indonesia. Look at that. American Burma. Oh, we even connect to our Vietnamese colony. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Oh, we, wait. How did... We even got a little bit of Ceylon. The Germans got half of Ceylon. We got the other half. Oh, that's amazing. That's just amazing. Oh, Guangdong is here. Oh, my goodness. This has been one... Oh, we even got Yemen. Oh, my goodness. Wait, we even got... <laughs> Look, we got this stuff, too? Are you kidding me? We got a uh, Turkmenia? A little portion of Turkmenia? Oh, my goodness. This is... This is a scary world to live in. I mean, holy crud. I know this video's gone longer than an hour now, but... This was fun. Holy crud. Oh, my goodness. This was... This was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. I hope you really enjoyed this campaign. And we've got this, too. Nice. Indonesia has been liberated. Australia. Does Germany own? No, it's just it's New Zealand. I just... I'm not sure what I think. I had a lot of fun. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun as well. Oh, there goes Basque Country. I really want to see you guys split up, though. Come on, please split up. Split up. Split up. Oh, man. A Scandinavia form, too. Wow. But man, oh, man. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If we can't see the UK split up, well, in our hearts and minds, they split up. But anyways... I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I will see you in another campaign because I'm taking just a small little break at the time of this recording from playing Vicky 2. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.